Welcome to North American Shale Magazine's top headlines from the past week. I'm your host, Jacob Norderman. Before we get started, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, the Bakken Conference and Expo, taking place July 16th through the 18th in Watford City, North Dakota. The event will provide attendees with in-depth stories, powerful intel on the play's hottest topics, and multiple networking sessions geared to connect decision makers from every segment of the industry. Learn more at thebakkenconference.com. Italian multinational technology provider Denora is helping treat frac water in the Permian. The company recently brought eight mobile disinfection systems to Texas designed to treat frac water at different well sites. Prior to going downhole in the fracking process, water must be disinfected. The new Denora units deployed in the Permian will significantly improve that part of the process. Learn more about the system at NorthAmericanShaleMagazine.com. Advantage Midstream will provide gas to liquid technology and services to Sandridge Energy for its Colorado operations. Advantage has developed a unique technology for gas to liquids technology suitable for infield operations and remote locations. In this week's newsletter, we detail the technology and what it will bring to Sandridge. Despite difficult operating conditions, EOG Resources CEO Bill Thomas told investors this month that his E&P firm produced record level rates of return on new capital investments. For 2018, the company expects to grow crude production by up to 20% and earn a 30% rate of return from oil in the $40 per barrel range. The goal for the future is to drive down its debt while increasing its dividend, all of which Thomas believes the company is positioned to do. For $1.2 billion, AL Midcoast Holdings has acquired the U.S. midstream assets of Calgary-based Enbridge, Inc. The deal gives AL Midcoast gas gathering, treating processing, and other assets in East Texas, Western Anadarko, and the Barnett Shale Play. Enbridge will use proceeds to strengthen its balance sheet. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next week.